In the US, a standard Mercedes Maybach S650 will set you back $202,550. You do get quite a lot for the money, mind, not least a 6.0-liter twin-turbo V12 with 621 brake horsepower and 738 pounds-feet of torque. But what if you want a bit more exclusivity? Well, say hello to the $242,950 S650 Night Edition. Seems like a fairly hefty premium to be one of the 15 owners. Still, those deep-pocketed American buyers will get exclusive extras such as a carbon fiber rear spoiler, carbon fiber interior elements and dark 20-inch forge wheels. Oh, a Night Edition badges behind the front wheels. There is also exclusive porcelain black Nappa leather upholstery and night edition floor mats, but that, really, is about it. Still, as mentioned you get a heck of a lot of V12, executive chairs in the back and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of just 4.6 seconds. This starts the car off in second gear, gives the accelerator gentler characteristics and the gearbox a more comfort-orientated map, and softens up the suspension that little bit more. It's a fractional change but entirely noticeable. Which means it's longer than the longest version of the longest car Mercedes builds. It's a long, complicated and delicate process. The body shell is painted on Mercedes's regular production line in the color that'll feature on the bottom half of the car. It's then sent to the custom shop, where the shell is ground to a matte finish by hand. Then cleaned then masked, and a dividing line hand-painted, like on a rolls, around the entire car. The doors are weighted before masking off this 4mm dividing line, to simulate the addition of windows, speakers and so forth in the doors later on, then the lower half is masked off, and the upper is painted by hand. The whole thing is then given a clear varnish coat, and, says Merck, all in all, the process including the necessary drying times can take up to one week. To most people, it just means a crystal clear display, but to tele nerds it means a high-end technology that offers deeper blacks and much better color accuracy over its LCD LED rivals. Instead of a flat panel lighting up an array of pixels on an LCD LED screen, an OLED panel can switch each individual pixel on and off independently. Just makes for a better picture, basically. The rear backrest reclines up to 43.5 degrees, the legrest extends forward by a further 50 millimeters, and the front passenger seat tilts forward, while a little footrest extends from underneath it, to create a proper first-class flying experience. Select your choice of energizing massage and you won't want to leave. This is apparently a thing. An extremely comfortable thing, mind. They are called comfort rear doors and solved the problem we never knew existed until now. This is very trick. There are six acceleration sensors buried in the suspension, which then send information to a master control unit. The control unit deploys mathematics to work out what noise the car should offer to counter the road noise picked up. This is then relayed to the 4D surround sound system, whereby, in Merck's words, the requisite sound waves phase shifted by 180 degrees are reproduced by the bass speakers. All as you'd expect from a luxury limousine costing £201,000, in V12 guise, but still lovely nonetheless. It's been set up for level 3 autonomy, and will be able to control speed, distance and lane keep. There's lidar and additional cameras to scan the surrounding areas and road ahead, and Merck reckons when ready, perhaps later in 2021, it'll be able to take over on suitable motorway sections and where traffic density is high. Maybach Motorenbau GmbH revealed its first ever car at the 1921 Berlin Automobile Exhibition, the Model W3, with coachwork by Aura in Cannstatt. That's, that's right, Maybach is 100 years old this year. Two-tone paint. Amongst others, Ford did it on the run-out special edition Cortina Crusader back in 1982. Now Mercedes is dusting it down for its new Maybach, and then some. The process is too convoluted to go into fully here, but suffice to say it involves atomizing statically charged paint particles, sending the body to a custom paint shop where it's ground to a matte finish, masking off in order to hand paint the dividing line, waiting the doors to compensate for the interior trim and electric gubbins that'll be added later, so the finish lines up, while even parts of the body that'll be fully covered by trim or cladding are painted. It can take up to a week, and if the custom guys don't like the end result they'll do it all again. 
two-tone paint options include Kalahari Gold over Rubellite Red, Mojave Silver over Emerald Green, and Obsidian Black over Diamond White. As ever, the taste police are hovering on standby, but Mercedes clearly knows what floats its wealthiest customer's superyacht. Since it was rebooted in 2015, following the early noughties misadventure, the Maybach subbrand has sold 60,000 cars. During 2019, 700 units per month headed to China alone, and indeed last year was Maybach's most successful year to date, 12,000 sold worldwide. In the past, luxury was often associated with opulence and wastefulness. Today at Mercedes-Benz we'd rather understand it as a state of great comfort, ease and timeless aesthetics. It's about purity, fascinating technology, and utmost quality, Daimler CEO Ola Kalinia says. The new car takes the newly introduced and technologically advanced S-Class in an even more overtly luxurious direction. This is a vehicle whose options list includes a chauffeur package that stretches the S-Class's wheelbase by 18 cm, its 5.5M long overall, and adds more metal to the rear doors. The grille is a serious statement that takes its cue from 2016's magnificently in-your-face Vision 6 concept, and the C-pillars feature fixed quarter lights with an illuminated brand logo on the outside.